113 here at Mission Control, just down the street from Esports Arena, Santa Ana, California. We got our next matchup. Ap uh, uh, this is uh, Aperture, yeah, Aperture versus yeah. Mago. So Aperture, the European Sonic, and joining you on the mic, in case you didn't know, Nurse Maiden Pike. Yep. Uh, Aperture, I didn't see much of him during uh, the, the saga, but he's uh, trying to run it back here at MSM, you know. Uh, we all know Mago, SoCal Bowser, uh, the uh, famous for causing people to punch walls. Yeah, here at yeah, MSM. yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's, he's a really good Bowser here in SoCal. He's caused a lot of upsets in our own region. So this will be interesting to watch considering, I mean, I don't know personally how much Bowser experience he has over there in the right. UK, I believe. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how much they have across the pond, uh, but this matchup definitely is Sonic favor. I mean, that's what that's what the general consensus is, as far as I know. Yeah, it's but definitely tough for Bowser. I mean, yeah. you, you can see it coming into play right now. Oh, oh. my <laughs> God! Taking him off the top with the double up airs. And only 34% registered onto Mago. But yeah, the matchup's tough. I mean, he gets this percentage, and what are you going to do? You're just going to run from side to side of stage and keep chipping damage, yep. forcing your opponent to make mistakes. This is literally the most comfortable position Aperture could be in right now. He's about 20%, maybe 25 away from getting uh, grabbed. All right, that was a great command grab right yeah. there. Uh, now he's only about 5% away from getting uh, the Bowser, Bowser Grappler combo. But... Um, He's racking up some of his own. He's already, uh, again, looped to Mago. Oh, he went for the setup, and he sent him to the depths of hell. No way the Bowser was going to return from that. Yeah, I respect Mago trying to uh, hit the spring with his uh, with his upbeat. Yeah. But it uh, either went through it or he just dodged it. And uh <laughs> Yeah, that's interesting because I feel like the upbeat is going to, like, clash with, yeah. the, with the spring anyways. But it's, it's still... Interesting to note that he would have gone for it. Had it hit him, right. he would have been able to make it back. Yeah. That was not the case. We're going to move on to game two on Lilac Cruz. Yeah, I'm wondering if this is actually like a good stage for Bowser. Like. Oh, yeah. I've, uh, I know Zork really loved this stage back when he used to play. Uh, I've heard, I always hear from Bowser that it's really good, but um, I'm pretty sure Sonic like has a good position on here, too. Um, I've definitely seen Sonic get bodied by the ledges before though so maybe Mago's using stage comfortability and trying to go for some jank using Lilat but uh we'll see man yeah so far starting off the same exact way but at least Mago had some sort of control on the stage the aperture at the ledge He's trying to answer back another up air is gonna hit him with the second one all right popping him back into the sky aperture trying to make his way back onto the ground that's so tough man Sonic's mobility is almost too much for Bowser to handle. Yeah, definitely. Though every time Aperture hits Mago and doesn't kill him, it's just giving Mago an easier uh, easier path to the grab. Right, so yeah. The more rage that he's building up onto Mago's Bowser, the earlier he's going to be able to get these grab confirms. Yep. Oh, Ooh, that was a smart smart high up B. Oh, Mago. oh. Ooh, the immediate reversal down here. Super aggressive. I like it. Otherwise, he was going to get killed. I mean, he could have jumped away. Oh, my God. Mago is just swinging. Dude. That back throw. I actually like that attempt. You can yeah. see you had too much rage to kill with uh, with up throw up air uh, in that position. But now it's now he's fresh, yeah. and he can kill with it. Man, 31% off of that single spin dash conversion in a neutral air. Really? Oh, catch him. I think a down yeah. throw might have killed. but Oh, and that's... <laughs> oh, forward throw? No, no forward throw. Oh my god, try oh to go for, for an air dodge up. read. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that <laughs> That's was gonna take you off the top. You can definitely tech that, but, you know, Aperture wasn't expecting it. Yeah. He was expecting Mago to land, so he went for the grab, but the uh, down air does stall you a little bit in the yeah. air, so it gave Mago the uh, timing he needed. So I really like the mix ups that Mago is going for, actually. It's granted him a lot of uh, damage, a lot of um, letting him get back to the ground in situations where he was in super disadvantage. Yeah. Good He's position. Able to keep this close to the chest right now. He's got Aperture at the ledge. Another spin dash. Two up airs. Oh. Keeping up the chase. Oh my god. Mago's been really good at dodging Aperture in high pressure situations. Yeah. Whether it's off stage or up uh, up at the top. He's been doing really well at it. Alright, what's he going to do? Oh, he gets up. The reverse hit of forward smash. Sending him in the opposite direction. Not enough to kill. Ooh, I thought we were going to see a fair off that up B. Oh, 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 oh. oh, yeah, we were respecting a neutral air. That would have been the uh, 
I guarantee he damage. Been, he might have been trying to go for the reverse forward air into back air. Oh, okay. Stock, but, uh, yeah, that would actually end of his life. Super oh! early. Shield is gone. What's he going to do? It? Forward smash? That's it. Yes, he is gone. Out of here. Mago takes game two. <laughs> yeah, putting himself back in the game. 1-1 one, one on the scoreboard right now. All right, Aperture not looking too pleased about that. <laughs> Woo! You guys just got bowser bro. But, like, not even, like... It wasn't the Bowser combo. Yeah. It was like, oh, you were holding shield and I called you out for it. Yeah, dude. And Bowser. you're going to lose this stock at 37%. Bowser kick overdrive. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the funniest <laughs> clips ever. Dude, so that thing cracks me up every time. We're going to town. Um, I respect this pick from Aperture, although it is going to help Mago as yeah. well with the low ceiling. So it's but almost uh, a neutral pick anyways. Yeah, yeah, I think he's Aperture's banking on being able to stay uh, stay safe on the platform yes. because Bowser doesn't have many options to uh, pressure right. from there. And you can already see he's kind of doing it right now, but he's catching Aperture, camping the shield with these uh, jump neutral airs. Yeah. yeah, he's doing a pretty good job of keeping him pressured on the platform. However, that is probably what Aperture was thinking going into this match is that if I need to retreat, I can retreat to these platforms and Bowser's not going to do much about it. Right. I'm also expecting to see a few, a fair amount of command grabs from uh, Mago on when Aperture's camping the platforms. He's not going to do it very often as we're seeing, but it's perfect for the mix-up, especially when Aperture's a kill percent. That was such a sick uh, a whirling out fortress out of shield uh, as an anti-air. Caught the uh, whiff uh, back, back air from yeah. Aperture. Yeah, you can see he's playing very safe. He's got a huge percent deficit, but he knows a couple more of these jabs and a grab. That oh, forward air. It's not enough. Bowser's a big boy, man. Ooh, oh, okay, I like it. Yeah, Extra damage nice. returning nice. to the stage. Yeah, he's looking for it, man. Jab to grab might be the game, or at least the stock, I mean. I don't know. Oh, oh, so close to being the stock, but not enough. Oh, and that oh, time he DI'd. Really well, but yeah, the first time on the Bowser bomb, he, had he there was like no DI on that. Straight up, man. Yeah, that was actually amazing DI from Aperture. <laughs> if he DI'd that wrong, he was most he was certainly gone. dead. Look at the shield looking really small. It's oh, oh back throw. Now yeah, again by the yeah. ledge. That's the second time Mago has gotten killed by that. He's got to start watching out. Yeah, that's the first time Aperture has had rage on his first stock, so it makes sense that it would kill from there. As you can see, Mago is uh, opting for a lot of these pivot, pivot away jabs, trying to catch Aperture dashing in. Oh, okay, Ooh. air dodge into Whirling Fortress. I love that. And that almost killed too. Bowser's uh, Woo! he's gone. Drop kicks. Back in it. We got us game. Spin dash. Oh, no punish from Aperture there. I've noticed that Aperture is adapting more to Mago's movement options on the ground. So it's getting a little bit more difficult for Mago to uh, get his, you know, his turnarounds on uh, Aperture's approaches. Yeah. So Mago still remaining patient right here. He's going to get grabbed out of the Whirling Fortress. Oh, what a sick Very call nice. out. Calling out the double jump and responding with a backer of his own to close out the set. 2-1 in favor of Aperture. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic really, play. Really sick. Yeah. Fantastic play. Man. That was really nice. That was really nice on all player parts, honestly. Like, Mago, yeah. I mean, you, you imagine that's a really tough matchup. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he played it the way he needed to, maintained composure, got his game in there, and honestly took it the last hit. Yeah, it was very close. Yeah. But one thing I did notice was that Mago jumped that one time, and Aperture had always been looking for the high hit yeah. off stage, and he was going low. So he thought... I'm assuming he thought that Aperture would mix it up and go low because it was so far into the match. Right. <laughs> but Aperture just stuck to his guns and it worked out. Oh, so, exactly. you know, man. Heck yeah. So that was the really.